We've been using X show a lot throughout the course, but we also have access to X if, which pretty much does the same thing, but there's a slight difference. Let's take a look not only how this works now, but also when you might want to reach for X if. Let's start with a simple example of X show, as we have already seen a few times before, and let's set show to false within X data. And let's create a div out here and say X show, show, am I visible? And of course the answer in this case is no. Now, if we would set that to true, we know that that's gonna show it. And of course, if we introduced a button here to toggle this, that would also work as well. Let's do that now and then we can roll on to the next example of looking at X if. So we're gonna say X on click, show equals true. And I'm gonna say show me. Let's go over, there we go. Pretty straightforward, we've already seen this before. So let's copy this component that we've already got, pull this down here and switch this over to use X if instead. So for this, let's just pull this down below the button. Let's create a template around here because we're gonna need to use a template for X if and we'll see why that is. And let's change this to X if show. And then let's just output the div in here. Let's go over, give that a refresh. You can see it works in exactly the same way. So the question is, why would we want to use or when would we want to use X if instead of X show? Well, the short answer is if what you are doing inside of the condition, so if the condition means that whatever you're doing is more intensive, for example, you might be performing some kind of calculation once this is toggled, then you would want to use X if. So this isn't actually run beforehand. Now that might seem a little bit complex. So let's take a look at a practical example of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this and let's come down, duplicate this down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say show users. Let's just say inside of X data, we had a list of users that we wanted to perhaps sort. So I'm gonna go and switch this over to users and we're gonna have an array of people in here. Kind of like the example we looked at before where we had a name and then we had some points. So let's say that we brought back the example of ordering these users by their points. So let's say Billy and set that to 100. We'll just leave it at two for now because the actual data itself doesn't matter too much. So let's go and say users ordered by points. And let's make this a getter. And let's return this users sort, bring in our sort enclosure, and then say b.points minus a.points. That's gonna order them by points in descending order. Now inside of here, let's switch this over to an X show and say show and then let's iterate through these so say template and X for user in users and let's just make this really simple let's just output the user's name in here user name and let's have a look at this okay we've got show is not defined so let's just bring that back again and we're gonna change this to, there we go. So what that has now done is when we click on it, it's showing them users ordered by their points. Let's just actually bring the points in here as well. Change this to a span, just so we get a good idea of this. I promise there is a conclusion coming here in a minute. So let's say points, and let's wrap this in a div real quick. And let's come over and there we go, we've got Billy with 100 points and Alex with 10. So the point of this is if I go ahead now and switch this over to users order by points, what that's actually doing is it's always running this. So we can prove that by console logging sort. Now this isn't very complex, so there's nothing wrong with doing this initially on the page, but that's always gonna be run. You can see it's run here twice. Now the difference between X show and X if is if we were to create a template out in here and then ended that template down here and said X if show, 
Now let's look at what happened when we initially land on the page. We only see this called once. We can get away with this not being called once by making this a method. So let's change that over to a pure method. And there we go, it's not called at all. Now when I click show users, it's called. So let's keep it as a function rather than a getter because that's always gonna be uh, called. Um, and there we go. So if again, we change this back to a div and then set X show to show, that's always gonna be called because it's being rendered, just not shown. But if it's X if, that's conditional render. So it won't be called until we ask for it. Hopefully that makes sense. It's a bit of a long winded way of explaining that, but that's really the usage for X if. If you've got something happening inside somewhere that you want to only be run like this ordering of the users by points, once the thing has been shown or the condition has been met, then that's what you want to use. That's the difference between X if and X show.